Hey guys, what's up? And we'll continue to learn more about the guinea pigs, part 2. Hi guys, today we'll get to know more about the guinea pig breeds. In today's video, we'll get to know the guinea pig breeds based on two subtypes, the long-haired and the short-haired guinea pigs. So stay tuned to learn more about them. The pictures you're about to see are from Google Images and are from different websites. The info came from guineapighub.com. Abyssinian guinea pigs are the most common types of pets in our homes. They are known for being mischievous, loving, and fun. The standard Abyssinian guinea pigs must have 8 rosettes or 8 PO. Actually, I got an Abyssinian guinea pig before at I was going to say that it was a Next is American and also most common type of domesticated guinea pigs here in our country and also in other countries as well. They are known for being lively, affectionate, and easy to care for. And they also have great temperament which is easy for them to get along with other guinea pigs. Cool, huh? Next is American Crested Guinea Pig. So as you can see, there is a crest on top of the forehead, which is, looks like a crown. So same characteristics with American, they're affectionate, lively, and easy to care for. Actually, may long counterpart yan, and you'll see it later. Teddy guinea pigs are social, lively, and friendly guinea pigs. They're often described as wiry, meaning they have a rough and stiff coat. The reason why they're called teddy is because of their uncanny resemblance to the teddy bear which is a stuffed toy. So brang cute nyan pag mataba sila. Next is from my very own weak flicks, the Peruvian guinea pig. This is my most favorite breed and the only breed that I have in my mini caviary. That's because the Peruvian guinea pig takes the cake for the longest hair and by far. They are curious, alert, kind, and timid. And they really look alive for me that's why they're so cute. Silky or Sheltie Sheltie guinea pigs are charming, gentle, and calm. They are the long version of American guinea pig. Looks Peruvian but the hair around their heads sweep back differently than the Peruvian. They earned the nickname Hollywood KV because of their stylish looks without hair products involved. Next is Coronet. This breed was the product of American white crested and silky guinea pigs. They are playful, curious, and affectionate. They look like a Sheltie but they have a crest on their forehead which looks like a crown. That's why they're called Coronet. Next is Luncaria. The Lunky or the Luncaria is the result of genetic mutations in not a cross a variation of the Peruvian KV. They are a very inquisitive creature and does enjoy being handled. Their coat is thick, long, and curly but kind of wavy. Next is Texel. Texel guinea pigs are friendly, elegant, and graceful. Texels feature curly soft hair is not just apparent on their backs but throughout the whole body, including the belly. With such extravagant coats, they have become quickly premier show guinea pigs with immense success. Next is Alpaca. Alpacas are very affectionate creatures who enjoy human company as well as the company of other guinea pigs, no matter the breed. They are also the curly version of Peruvian but much curlier than the Lancaria. They have long, coarse, wavy hair which is different coloring on its ends as opposed to the main body of it. Next is Merino. The Merino guinea pig also enjoys attention and is intelligent KV that can make training easier. The Merino is the curly version of the Cornet guinea pig. It has swirls of short, frizzy hair on its forehead but is otherwise very similar in both temperament and nature. Other breeds include Kui and Skinny Guinea Pigs. Kui Guinea Pigs are very skittish, strong and muscular and can reach 5 or 6 pounds. They are considered the largest breed of guinea pigs. They look like large American guinea pigs. And in Peru they have been used for their meat which is kinda sad. Next is Skinny Guinea Pigs. Skinny Guinea Pigs are very intelligent animals and if regularly handled will be extremely affectionate too. Because they are hairless, they are largely intolerant to both direct sun and cold temperatures, so they must be kept indoors. 
they are kinda sensitive so an extra care is a must. So that's it for today, I hope you've learned a lot from this video, cause I sure did. Researching the info made me realize that most of the breeds weren't actually there naturally. Most of them were genetic mutations that resulted from various um, crossbreeding. So that's it for today. Please click like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!